Hello class, today is Wednesday and we are doing the STEAM PBL math. So take a deep breath with me, we're doing double bath today. I tried to pick this on a day when we were doing the Bunny Hill Hot Cocoa Break and Green Circle because those days are a little bit easier in general. So let's get started. Whoops, so you should have done this part, you should have written done this part, and you should have written a final draft and given it to me yesterday. So today our warm-up question says that if Waffles woke up at 4.12 a.m. and then finally went downstairs at 5.30 a.m., how long did he wait until he went downstairs? So I'm going to write down those two numbers for myself because that's a good place to start, writing a list of all those numbers. So 4.12, and then he finally went downstairs at 5.30. These are a.m. a.m. and a.m. Okay, so let's do it together. Ta-da! So here are my numbers. Okay, so one of the ways that I like to think about this, first of all, you can't do the lining it up and the addition and subtraction, because remember, there's not 100 minutes in an hour. There's only 60. So the easiest way I think there is to do this is to draw ourselves a clock because this is a problem of elapsed time or time passing. So my 12 is up here, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and 11. Now it's really hard for me to draw this backwards because I'm just so used to looking at a clock regularly, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do this backwards to you. So the first one says it's four, so that's my shorthand, 12. So just past there. So how much would it take? So I know that there's a full hour here, right? So that's one hour. So I basically need to figure out what's the distance between 12 minutes and 30 minutes, right? I need to figure out how much time has passed between here and 5.30, right? So how long will it take for this arrow to get down here? So now I actually can use division or uh, subtraction. So 30 minus 12, or the distance between this arm and this arm is um, 18. Right, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, yeah, 18. So, so my answer here is one hour and 18 minutes, okay? Because there's one hour between four and five, and there's 18 minutes between 12 and 30. Okay, let's look at our answer. One hour and 18 minutes, or 78 minutes total. Awesome. Number two, if waffles peed 15 and 2 tenths milliliters on Monday, 16 and 4 tenths milliliters on Tuesday, and 18 and 4 milliliters on Wednesday, how much did he pee in total? So this is a question. I need to pre erase my board for it. And let's write down these numbers. So we have 15.2 plus 16. Oops, I'm drawing two. And plus 18. Point four. We're gonna try something dangerous again. Not dangerous, but just difficult. So this is how your problem should work, right? So what I'm doing here is I am needing to first, most important thing when adding and subtracting decimals is to line it up, 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 line it up, 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 line it up, up, up at the decimal. So let's start with our smallest place value. Four plus four is eight. Plus two is 10. Write down the zero, carry the one. Five <laughs> plus six is 11, plus one is 12. 12 plus eight is 20. Write down the zero, carry the two. Then we have three ones plus two is five. So my answer here isn't 500, remember? I need to 
bring it down, uh, 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 bring it down, bring it down, and I should be able to draw an arrow through all three of my decimals because that's how lined up it is. So my answer here is 50 milliliters. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, I'm so proud of myself. I added decimals backwards. Huzzah. And hardest. If waffles peed an average of 15 milliliters over the course of five days, three of the days he peed 15 milliliters, write a table of combinations of volumes of urine he could have produced the other two days that would equal the average of 15 milliliters. Okay, so this one is a little tricky. I'm going to try to put my measures of center video up with this one, um, but let's kind of talk about how this would work. So he peed an average of 15 milliliters over the course of five days. So I'm going to start by creating a bar diagram, right? So in total, we have 15 milliliters, right? Whoops, I did that backwards. 15 milliliters, right? And that was over the course of five days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make five boxes in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oof, I'm getting out of practice, man. Evenly dividing stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Let's assume these are all the same size. So then three of the days he peed 15 milliliters. So let's show this. So this day, let's say he peed 15, which I mean, owning the pug now think is a very conservative number I put in there. This day he peed 15 this day he peed 15. Okay, so the question is, what are the other possible combinations of here? So let's talk about what that average means. It's another word for the word mean, okay? So when we're talking, and you might have heard these words before, right? The median, for example, in a set of data would be the middle. Um, you add and divide for the uh, range. The mode is the one that appears the most, and the range is the difference between. I mean, yeah, so to find a average or the mean, what you need to do is you need to add, then divide. So let's just show for an easier set of numbers what we would do. So let's say I had the numbers, this is not related to this question at all, it's just kind of a quick review of what mean and average mean. Let's say I had one, I have one, one, three, two, okay? This is my set of numbers, right? I wanna find the average, or in general, about how much did he pee each day is for our question. About how much is the average number in here? So what I do is I add them all together first. So I go one plus one plus one is three, plus three is six, plus two is eight. So eight total, right? Then I need to divide. So I need to divide this number by the number of numbers. So there's one, two, three, four, five numbers. So this would be eight divided by five or eight fifths or one and three fifths would be my answer. So the reason I divided by five is because there are five numbers here, right? So I added them all together and then I divided by the number of numbers. Okie dokie, so now let's do that for this. So this isn't actually asking us to do any of that math. It's saying, what could I do? So this is a total 15 milliliters, by the way. The average, and I should have probably written that up here. That's probably confusing. Average. Okay, so the average is 15. So for example, if I added together 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus, let's try 15 plus 15, and then I divided by five, the number of numbers, I'm just gonna use my calculator to kind of show. So 
So this is 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 divided by 5. So my answer here is 15. Okay? So that checks out. It's this one. So let's try a different set of numbers. Hint, let's add and subtract equally from these last two numbers. So I'm going to take one away from here and add it to here. So this is now 14, and this is now 16. Okay? Let's see if that works. So we're going to add 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 14 plus 16. That equals 75 divided by 5. My answer is 15, so it still works out. So think about what other numbers you could do that you could add together and divide by the number of numbers, and the answer would still be 15. So let's show the answer to this one. These are some possible answers, but they could vary. Notice how I put them in a table because that's what my question was asking for. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. This ends our unit on matter and change. We're actually going to go backwards after this and work on oceans just because I was planning on going back to that at the end of the year. But now since there's no testing, I say, why not? Let's go do all the science we can. So I will see you tomorrow for an oil spill cleanup, my least favorite lab of all time. <laughs>